Today's video, I'm going to be talking about Spire Institute. So if you guys are not informed, just a couple days ago, Spire Institute has decided to back out from the PSA showcase, which was being held on Sunday, December the 9th. This video, I just want to talk about Spire deciding to back out and just explain to you guys why they made this decision. So first, let's talk about the PSA showcase. Now, the PSA showcase is a very big thing just because a lot of college coaches and college scouts attend this event to watch these certain high school teams compete against each other. As you can see, Spire Institute was selected as one of the teams to play in the showcase, but they didn't decide to back out just because they felt like their students would miss an extra day of school. So after seeing Spire Institute's reasoning on why they decided to back out from the showcase, in my opinion, it's very understandable just because they're basically saying school comes first before anything. And I think a lot of people is forgetting that these kids are high schoolers traveling around the country. You know, it's very different being a high school teen traveling around the country as in being a college teen traveling around the country. Because when you're a college teen, the NCAA sets up everything for you and everything is planned out. And also being a college student athlete is very different from being a high school student athlete just because your lifestyle is completely different. Definitely when it comes academically, such as getting your schoolwork done and everything. When you're a college student, you have a lot of free time to get things done. But when you're a high school student, you literally have to sit in a building for seven hours a day. And when you're an athlete, sometimes you got to stay after school for practice and stuff like that. And that's about two or three hours after school. So once you get home, you're going to be tired and you just have a limited time as free time. So at the end of the day, it's all understandable on why Aspire has decided to make this decision. But after reading the statement, it really makes me wonder. How many school days did Spire Institute's basketball team already miss? Because they played six games in total so far, and if they're backing down from a major showcase like this, then it seems like they already missed a lot of school days already. A lot of people felt like this was a major opportunity for LaMelo Ball to show out in front of these college coaches so he can get recruited to a team, even though we still don't know if he's even eligible to play for the NCAA next year. But one thing that you guys gotta realize is that even though LaMelo Ball couldn't show up at the showcase, if these colleges really want to recruit LaMelo, they're going to come to him. It's that plain and simple. LaMelo don't have to show up to all these showcases and everything just because he already has a lot of recognition as being the top player in the country. I know a lot of people probably feel differently towards this situation, but in my opinion, I really feel like it don't really matter. I thank you guys for watching. If you make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you press the notification button. TK Game, we out.